What's going on, everybody? Simple back at it like I'm checking my height. Today we're checking out how the Dutch beat the ocean. Shout out to my Atlanteans over in the Netherlands. Um, this is something that comes up quite often as an interest of mine recently is since I figured out that these people literally took land back. Like, you were talking about the biggest powerhouse in the world, right? And it's controlled by another rock that orbits around us. So you wouldn't think that you'd be able to defeat something like that, especially when things like tsunamis are so devastating and just high waves and floods in general. You know, look at what happened to New Orleans, um, California starting to sink. I mean, there, there's a whole bunch of things where the ocean kind of just takes over. And uh, we're going to check out how the Dutch beat it. If you guys enjoy this, definitely make sure you check out the content creator. And if you want to get your requests up here as well, hit up the Google form down in the description. Let's go. It's the ocean versus the Dutch. That's the battle that's going on right now. It's been going on for hundreds of years. Every time I see all these and bicycles, you know who's I miss them. The Dutch. <laughs> I love that. He's like, you know who's winning? Seal that water. The Dutch. Super ingenious the way they designed it. Oh, why she looked so upset? Can you tell the engineering Can marvel? I hear one more thing about the water. Well, damn. Look at this map of Holland in 1300. Compare this to a map of Holland wow. today. You can see all the pieces of land they gained back. All down in the bottom left-hand corner where there were smaller islands down there. There's huge tracts of land now. And it looks like there's some kind of like land bridge up in the top. They gained back a lot of land. It's amazing. It, it just seriously amazes me how much they pulled back. And it looks like they had a lot of other smaller lakes started popping up too. Hmm. Ah, uh, man-made. Okay, I can see where they pulled it around from. That is so cool. The country has <clears throat> gained land. Yes. Like little locks down Thousands there. and thousands of square kilometers of land has been won back <laughs> from the ocean. The story of this battle between the ocean and the Dutch explains why Holland is good at cheese, why Amsterdam has canals, why Dutch people ride bikes. Okay. Uh, hold on, I want to look at the architecture real quick again. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Like, it looks like New York would look or like a big city like that, right? But there's not as much traffic. That's the very first thing that I notice. Because in New York, it's just jam-packed full of cars. Even in Massachusetts, down in Boston, it's jam-packed. And Boston isn't as big of a city. I mean, it's a big city, but it's just jam full of cars. And for those who are confused, the Dutch, Netherlands, and Holland are all the same thing. And they all have different reasons, and I'm not going to go into them. You can, like, look at Wikipedia. Fair it's enough. Just, when I use those words, it all has to do with the same thing, which is this country. Okay? So the Netherlands, or Holland, or whatever you want to call it, is a country that is sinking. It's actually, the majority of it is under sea level, or right at sea level. I mean, if you look at the map of Holland, you see that a lot of it is just these little strips of land that are right up in the North Sea. And the ocean and the wind just kind of eat away at this land year after year. Instead of fleeing these coastal communities that were slowly sinking into the water, about 500 years ago, the Dutch started to fight back.
Now, let's just be clear about one thing, which is long fighting the ocean, the incessant, timeless powerhouse, the ocean, is a very difficult thing. Where are we going? Tristel. What? Texel. It's cool, you can ride the Metro with your bicycle too. There's room for it. The Metro actually looks really, really nice. We made it. Made it. This battle between the Netherlands and the ocean is now much more real for me. This wind and these waves are so crazy and consistent. They're just eating this land alive. And yet the Netherlands have decided to fight back and they're doing a pretty darn good job. Holland is up for this task. They've developed a whole system, a whole science behind hydrological engineering that has allowed them to combat the effects and the erosion of the ocean. My favorite is the uh, curry ketchup. And Johnny loves the Andalus and they actually go really well together. Like us. <laughs> Okay, so how do they actually do this? This is where it gets really interesting. There are a few techniques that the Dutch use for their wizardry over the water. The first one has to do with them building a wall around a body of water that they want to turn into land. Right. Build a wall around it, and then they, back in the day, would build a windmill next to those walls, and they would use the windmill to spin and as the windmill would spin, that would spin a pump that would pump the water out of that land. That is so ingenious. Oh my gosh. They'll plant on it and they will do whatever they need to do to actually make it firm, dry, habitable land. And then they'll build entire cities on it. <laughs> So one thing that is kind of really cool about it too is that when you section when you section parts of ocean water off like when you pull the water from the ocean and you allow it to sit in the sun for a long time right depending on obviously how much water you have it starts evaporating all the salt which turns it all back into fresh water So at some point you're also creating drinking water essentially and then in 1932, Holland had a huge win. There's this giant part of the country that was a part of the sea, and they finally built this huge wall. Okay, that was... That is so Building long. this giant wall created a barrier between thing. The salt water. How long does it take to drive over that? Like how long it that has to take at least thirty minutes. At least thirty minutes. I couldn't even imagine bicycling over it. That must be crazy. Or sea and made this huge body of water into a freshwater lake. After they built there this There it wall, is, the freshwater they lake. They then started to section off little pieces of this new, newly created lake and to start to turn those into land as well. So this is all of the land that they have created since That's 1932. Amazing. So in 1976, they created another section of a breaker, I guess, another wall. So... When they built a wall to make this lake, I mean, it's totally crazy. Look at the color difference, too. Huge color difference. Hmm. Which side is which, though? That's the question. Left side has to be the ocean. 
right? Somebody let me know. That looks so cool, though. Complete contrast of the same water just because of the lack of salt. Like, <laughs> that is so cool. The Netherlands actually, a few years ago, got a new province, like a new state. So they basically, this just hit me. It just struck me. They've basically utilized the power of wind, which is silly that this just struck me, right? Because they've been talking about the windmills and the pumps and all that stuff, but they're basically utilizing a force just as strong, if not stronger, to combat the force that they're fighting. In their country, not because of any administrative reform, but because they literally reclaimed a giant Using piece of Earth's land powers that used to be under the sea. So coastline looks like this just super fortified with asphalt and a million other building materials that they have come to over hundreds and hundreds of years of experimentation it seems simple it's like a wall but yeah. in this wall lies the it can't secret be simple. to Holland not sinking and they don't always work there have been times when these walls break but for the most part this has been a success story. I mean, there had, there has to be like wall watchers or something. There's gonna be people that just kind of maintain and make sure and give the fair warning. At least I would imagine, just in case anything did happen. I mean, but when, it's not. When was the last time something had happened? Has it, has it been recently? Or how, I mean, how long are you guys without incident? Just creating land out of water. It's also just how they manage water in every one of their cities. Amsterdam used to just be, I mean, it, you can hear it in the name, a dam on the Amstel River. They then built it up and they created this series of canals, a very intentional design, as you can see. And in doing so, they made this city a very accessible boat city, which was a very lucrative thing to do back in like the 15 and 1600s. Amsterdam became an economic so cool. hub in Europe and developed very quickly, population boom. It contributed to the golden age of Holland. And even today, Amsterdam is a giant economic and global hub, which you can attribute to how the Dutch have just mastered water and learned how to intentionally design their cities and their country around water management. A lot of the things we think of as quintessential Dutch come from this culture of water management. I know it sounds like the wonkiest thing in the world, but listen to me here. See the bikes? I mean, when you've been fighting it for so long, it, it becomes the a bikes part are a product of, of this low land because when you have flat land, it's relatively close together because as most of your land is waterlogged, then bikes become a really efficient, viable transportation means. You also have some of the most fertile grounds in the world for growing grass, mm. which then becomes fertile pastures for cows, which produce amazing dairy products, which is why Dutch cheese is such wonderful, amazing cheese. And then of course there are windmills. Windmills are a huge Dutch thing. Wind I mean, I could definitely see that all of the stuff and bacteria that's been stuck to the bottom, right, of the ocean essentially, and now you have all of that stuff dying and sinking to the bottom and just kind of, when you pull that land up, it's already it's full of nutrients. Full of nutrients. I mean, they, they sell bags of, um, what is it, like Fox Farm soil and stuff like that. I forget exactly what it has in it. Ocean, uh, I can't remember, but it's something specific and it sounds exactly like this. I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt if, and what? I wouldn't doubt if they started selling soil, like bags of soil just for gardening. Mills come from this history of pumping water I mean, I guess from you can't really lakes sell any. and the ocean to hard create to new pieces of land. Already put it for there. a long time, windmills were the technology, which is why Holland is full of windmills. Finally, you have these tulips. 
Tulips are another huge Dutch thing. The reason for this is that tulips grow in this special clay sand soil mixture and a lot of that exact soil is right here in Holland because of that the fact field. that a lot of this land was underwater before they reclaimed it and so it's perfect for growing tulips. So wow. a lot of Dutch culture could be attributed okay. to water management and conquering the water. I would definitely I now be... understand why Amsterdam has canals and the marvel of Dutch water management. So much more to learn. I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. All right, so <clears throat> I'll make sure I watch the rest of this video. Um, I, I'm definitely interested in seeing more um, if this gentleman has anything else about this stuff that goes a little bit deeper, definitely send it through the Google form. Or if there's any other thing that you want to check out about the Delta Works, definitely send it through the Google form. I'm very, very interested. Um, I don't think I could get enough information. I'd learn about this stuff all day long. Um, <clears throat> and we're still on the look for a good tulip video to ex explain exactly what tulip mania was. So if you guys have one of those, you know about it, send it through. We'll check it out. Definitely let me know what you guys thought about this one down in the comments below. I thought it was very, very informative myself. Um, so definitely make sure you guys head on over and give the content creator some love as well. Yeah. Check out the Google form down in the description below to get your request up here. Make sure you guys hit up the Discord link. Hit up one of the videos floating around, and I'll catch you on the next one.